You can't keep a good doctor down. That's what our favorite Time Lord continues to teach us. According to most accounts, he's been saving the universe for over 900 years. In real life, the officially recognized world's oldest person is Jeanne Calmont of France. She lived to be 122 years old. Human beings can't live much longer than this, and we certainly will never be able to live forever. That's just something in movies and comic books. Or is it? I'm Rusty Ward, and I'm dying. If you're over 30, you are too, slowly but inevitably dying. Our bodies reach their physical peak in their 20s. From that point on, we continue to replenish and replace most of our dead or dying cells, but never to the same extent we did when we were younger. As the years go by, we slowly, gradually lose more muscle and nerve tissue until one day our bodies just stop functioning. Immortality, the search for an alternative to death, or at least a way to delay it, is the most sought after superpower of them all. Spiritualists have pondered it, scientists have researched it, and you've asked for it. Because of the incredible amount of interest in this topic, there have been countless studies and experiments poking and prodding unicellular yeasts, grumpy grandpas, and just about every organism in between. There have been some amazing discoveries in regards to longevity. Telomeres, a repetitive strip of DNA found on the end of a chromosome, act as a protective tip on the chromosome. As long as the telomere remains intact, the chromosome can continue to make perfectly working cells. As the telomeres wear down, the chromosomes start to make mistakes. That's when mutations associated with aging occur. And the gene FOXO3 has been linked to longevity as well as short stature, suggesting that short people may live longer, which explains why Wolverine is so old. Caloric restriction, severely limiting an organism's food intake, can extend the life of mice and other short-lived animals by 40%. For years, it was believed caloric restriction could do the same for human beings. But studies haven't shown that we benefit from this in the same way. Maybe that's because mice and other animals with short lifespans are genetically and evolutionarily designed to be short-lived. Because of this, they may have a lot of inefficiencies in their biology in regards to longevity that can be easily improved upon. Humans, on the other hand, can already live over a hundred. Maybe we've pulled out all the evolutionary stops in our genome that we could. Maybe this is the end of the line. That's what I thought. Until I read about an Aldabra giant tortoise in India that died at the age of 255. It didn't even die of old age. It died due to a liver infection caused by a crack in its shell. Animals like turtles and rockfish don't age. The condition is called negligible senescence. They keep living until they're killed by unnatural causes. I think if turtles can do it, so can I. But there's no one enzyme or gene that holds the secret to immortality or even longevity. Aging is a very complex process that covers a lot of ground, far too much for any one episode which is why I'm making Real Immortality into a five-part series that will cover the coolest research happening today and some of the most exciting breakthroughs we can expect tomorrow. Because I don't know about you, but I plan on sticking around for a while. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more episodes, and be sure to tell me what superpower you want.